Good evening and welcome back once again. Today we're playing Cartagena. If you joined us last time, there was a convincing 4-0 away win. Let's jump into the team lineups. There's a couple of changes you may see. So we've actually brought in a right back from the youth squad called McDowell. We actually got an offer in for, I believe it was Sufet, who's our right back currently. He was actually rated as 67, I believe, and he was 24 years old. We've took the money. We've managed to get McDowell in on a lower salary, and he's pretty much the same rating. And obviously, he's got a lot more room to grow. And he's pretty good at passing, so we thought that would be a good thing. We've made a few bids. You might have seen on the front window there. Made a few bids for some players, some defenders. We are waiting for some replies on a couple. Hopefully, we'll see after this match if there's been any dates in the transfers. But in terms of the actual lineup today, I am actually going to bring Rice in defence. He can't really play there. He is a defender midfielder normally, but Costanu needs a rest and he's on a bit of a downward form. So yeah, we're just going to need to keep rotating until we get some extra bodies in there. Yeah, so away to Cartagena. Again, I hope that's the correct pronunciation. I'm really hoping that we can get one defender in. That's all we can afford salary-wise. We've went for some young players, but ones that are on relatively low salaries. Still, I've got a feeling that uh, we're going to be hard pushed to get them to agree. If not, we might just have to dip into the youth squad. Now, the problem is when I looked into the youth squad, the highest rated centre back, I believe, was 60, which is fine. You know, you know, you expect the youth players to be lower. It's quite a big dip though, um, so we'll have to think about that. Here's Perez, oh it's behind Xerxes. And just to let you know, we are actually playing on a higher difficulty today. We have upped it, just after the past few matches I thought it was needed. Ooh, nearly got past them there. Yeah, it might be a bit of a step up for us, this. So I wouldn't be surprised if possibly the first few games we play are either not going to be the best or we end up letting in uh, letting in some goals. And with all this talk of Mudrick, don't forget how great Carlos Perez is on the, uh, on the right there. He was uh, absent in the last match just for a bit of a rest. Getting on the ball quite a bit so far. He lost it there. Yeah, we're going to have to be that little bit, well, quite a lot quicker on the ball and the passes with this up difficulty. And the uh, the youngster getting in on the action McDowell there. That's not who I was trying to pass to. Okay, we're still looking like the most likely to get something in the early stages. Oof, decent ball. Keep out the air. Come out and punch it. Surely that went off. I swear that was over the line. We are going to miss Kosinu today though. He's looks so sure in defence and us up in the difficulty. Him having to take the game off has uh, come at the worst possible time and that's not good from Fabio Vieira. Good block there. Really well defended. I think it was Rice as well who's come in for Kosinu and he's not a defender by nature. Nicely played there. Now Vieira. Sixy. Mudrik. Oh, just wide. Now remember in the three games he's played so far, he scored six goals. Oh, narrowly wide. He's definitely got some in that lad. I know he's said before he's signed for Chelsea and all of that stuff and he's been 
one of the most talked about transfers in in quite a while but the player we is on this game is not the player we is in in real life this is 2000 and uh, well it's like two years behind almost isn't it stat wise so he's nowhere near as good he, as he would be in potentially football I've said that before but he's still got that uh, quick pace seems to play better than his shooting stats suggest based on his uh, first three games Carlos Perez out to Herrera he didn't play the last game either Windsor back there Perez again Fiera trying to fashion some space ah youngster was a little bit too eager maybe had a, a little bit of time to take a touch and assess the situation rather than just playing the pass oh Xerxes in here though couldn't quite uh Get out from on his feet, but Vieira... 1-0! Lovely finish with his left. It's tight from the defence. I can feel and see the difficulty increase has a big impact. But the right back on his first game is going to get an assist. Brilliant finish from Vieira. I mean, lots of players have had you know, two or three good games in a row and and Mujic clearly has come in but Fierro was one of our first signings along with Herrera and uh, Xerxes and I think out of the three, Vieira has certainly been the most consistent, he did have a tiny dip of form after his initial amazing start he wasn't playing poorly, he just wasn't getting as many sort of assists and goals but he's, uh, you know, the team is so much better with him in midfield. Oh, nice ball. Well taken by Xerxes. And then Mudrick. Xerxes again. 2 0. And Mudrick getting another assist. He got one in the last match as well as a goal. He's certainly very productive. Nice little 1 2. And Xerxes with a neat little finish there. Initially I thought it was with his left just because of the angle. And I was more concentrating on the actual attempt for myself. But just a little toe poke with the outside of his right. Really nice finish. And, you know, I'm quite pleased. You know, I've upped the difficulty. I haven't had a practice in this difficulty. It's on top player, I believe, at the moment. Um, I know there's a level above that, I believe. But there it is. Half time. Two fairly late goals in the first half. Possession wise, we were still the more dominant team, like we normally are. 57%. That's around about normal for us. Three shots with two on target. So pretty clinical. That's more clinical than normal. I think that's the one, not downside, but the one thing that we have to improve on is we create a lot of chances generally and we don't take anywhere near as many as we should and on the harder difficulties that's something you need to improve but i can feel a difference in possession the passing has to be a lot quicker the ai certainly moves onto your players and oh, will i get there nearly it was a bit of a poor pass Nicely kept in. And here's McDowell again. Perez. Now Herrera. Mudrick. Can't quite keep it. I just wasn't 100% sure what to do there. I haven't got time to think sometimes on this difficulty. Nicely played to Perez. Fiera. Wasn't enough space. Hit itch. It's a little bit behind Mudrick, but he does well to keep it. Now Teixeira. Ah, it's a poor ball to Mudrick. He had a little bit of space. 
only a little bit difficult pass to play Yeah, but definitely sticking to this difficulty, even if we have to lose some matches and have some difficult results. It's part and parcel of the game, it's what I want. It's just getting a little bit too much like getting a win was predictable. I mean, I love scoring goals and everything and having some great results, but you don't want that all of the time. Ah, I was just about playing Perez there. Took a little bit too long. Ooh, shouldn't let it bounce, don't let it bounce. Oh, lovely play there to Vieira. Now Mudrik. Herrera. Well kept in there. Nicely played. Vieira. Now Mudrik. Mudrik again. Vieira. Oh, straight at the keeper. Nicely worked. It's going to be a mixture of having to try and play it very quickly to avoid the defence. But if you get caught in a situation like that, you just have to be a little bit patient. Nicely played. Teixeira. Oh, he just overruns it. Make some subs. And we are going to bring on Arcos on the left wing. We're going to bring Carlson on the right wing in the place of... Well, it's Mudrik and Carlos Perez that are going off. And Bajer is going to come on for Fabio Vieira. I wish I could bring Zirk Zirf as well. His energy is not great, but um, he is on a, on and up. So hopefully he can bag us another goal. Hopefully our guys can do us a job out wide. Didn't think I'd play him in that position. But um, he's played there before and we know how reliable he is. And here he is. Oh my god, he's fluffed that one. Well won, well intercepted. Six he does well, holds the ball up. Nice little ball, perfectly weighted. And I've just snatched at it. Not so reliable there from August, but uh, getting in a good position. Here's Bajer. I don't know what Carlson's doing. It was actually a decent pass. Sixty three nil, and that's what it can do. Having a player one and up makes such a difference. It, you know, shooting and passing. It's, it has incredible effects on the stats. Carlson don't know what he was doing. Wins it back though, and a nice ball. And Zirksy just a little bit sharper. And a lovely finish. Cross the body of the keeper. Very nice. Now we haven't created anywhere near as many chances as we normally do. And that's mainly because of the difficulty. But we're still winning 3-0. And there's time yet. Now keeping a clean sheet will be great. I haven't really threatened too much. But it... It won't take much before they string passes together like this and create a chance. So we need to keep sharp. Nice touch from Carson there. Oh, unlucky a little bit I think there. I didn't know which way to turn. And I'd already made my mind up when it was a uh, clearly the wrong option. You can see they're a little bit sharper in the passes though. Lovely tackle from McDowell. He's had a really good game for his first. Got an assist, remember. Now Bajer. Herrera. Nicey. Simple ball to Teixeira. Back to Herrera. Oh, somehow, I think Xerxes was just caught flat-footed there. Nice interception from Rice. He's played well in defence as well. That is not as uh, a normal position for him. H. Oh, I thought Herrera got that. Sorry for the noises. There's a bloody car right outside. Let's 
problem with my street is it, uh, it can be quiet for ages and then all of a sudden there's just noises for 20 minutes and there's not much I can do about it. Share. Snapshot. Ah, Argus loses out. It's a little bit tight over there. Nice interception. And that's it. 3 0. Zerg C with a brace. Fabio Vieira have won, but really good all round performance. Mudrick with an assist. McDowell, the new boy, with an assist. Again, we managed to get to that 60% possession mark. 118 passes. That's probably a little bit lower than we normally have, but again, we're still dominating. Eight shots with five on target. Still a dominant game on the higher difficulty. Brilliant stuff. Rings rise, not really a surprise. Zirk got man of the match. He got two goals, and I'd agree with most of those stats. McDowell on his debut at the youngster, 6.5. Really well done. Yeah, and the subs doing their job when they came on too. Argus missing that, missing that sitter, but still, you know, didn't count for anything. So that's the main thing, you know, didn't cost us. And just a bit of an update in terms of negotiations. We have got a successful one back. We did have to play around with the salary in terms of going backwards and forwards with them. They've come back with a proposed annual salary of 323000 which we can just about afford. There was another guy, Heon, who was sort of my second option because he had a slightly lower annual salary. Just looking at the two players, if you just look at their all overall graph, Omaragic certainly looks like the better defender. Both very similar in terms of their overall, but Omaragic is younger. And I think just defensively, he looks the, like the better player. We're going to go with Omaragic. He's on and up. He will improve. It's going to improve our defence, and we just need the bodies in, in really... But that signer won't come through until after the next match. It's only been three days since the last one, so there's going to be some really tired legs out there. And then we've got a little bit of a gap. Not much, though. But join us for the next match when we're playing Ponferradino away. Should be a challenge. They're in the top half. And obviously playing on this higher difficulty, which we're going to keep at, it's going to be a lot more difficult to keep those clean sheets and goals coming. Hope to see you all next time. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Think about subscribing if you can, if you want to keep up to date with all of the videos that come out. Although at the moment, I am just releasing videos every day. Mainly Pez 2021. There's been some Resident Evil 4. And I'm sure there's going to be some other Let's Play videos out there. Some non-sports ones as well. Yes, we'll play PGA Tour 2K23 on top of Pez. Hoping to get a few more sort of traditional games, non-sports games. Maybe Red Dead Redemption 2. I haven't finished that game yet. I played it a while back. But I'll see you all next time. Cheers.